Elephant. Oh, tiebreaker. I like to split. I'm going Elephant. It's FY Rubik. It's a important game. They're betting it all on FY Rubik. I'm going to go with it. You get your favorite cosmetic B-Cup. Take it away for game oh, number three. Yes. If you don't know, you're about to see the Bleak Hallucination glitched Rubik item on FY, which is gorgeous. There it is. Look at that. Look at him. Can we get a showcase view on him? Real oh, thank you. Right on it. Looks very expensive, I gotta say. Yeah. It is you know the price for it? Uh, there's one currently on the glitched item market for $15,000. I'm saving. 15K only? Only. Well, I thought it was more expensive. If I don't talk for a minute or two, that means I'm buying the item. Be right <laughs> back. You yourself could be FY Rubik. I, I also think it is signed by, like, Burning or something like that. Seconds to battle. Not this one in particular, but let's see. Uh, it's on the staff. Yeah, it's signed by himself. But you're so popular that you sign your own things. <laughs> <laughs> That's the dream. You get, you get your signature in a trove or something. <laughs> All your items have your signature. And you say thank you. Even the two sets item. Yeah. The Give yourself the own signature. So let's see how this goes. Three bounty runes for I PSG LGD. When do we get the first blood this time? First game is post 10 minutes. Stop jungling, let's push. Second game, it was like eight minutes, seven, eight minutes. Do we get one even earlier this time? First I'd blood. say between five and six minutes this time around. Okay. They are swapping things around. Mars on the safe lane, Ursa top against Faceless Void. I don't think PSG LGD expected that. Oh, nothing to say, looking for that skewer under the tower. You Not can't dispel it. Fury Swipe, so I guess that's the reason why you just keep hitting Faceless Void. I would assume if Ame does die, maybe he shifts and TPs bottom, but the person who normally TPs first... You just have first, to die first. Just, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, the problem is just nice. the second you TP, if the other guy hasn't TP'd back to lane, he's just going to follow you anyway. An armor. Denied. Minus two from the Blightstone. Minus six from Snapfire's Little Shredder. So that's minus eight. And Reality Rift uh, is minus three. So yeah, that's correct. The math checks out. Not so quick this time, but uh, works out in the end. Yang this time, like you predicted, he ends up going down. They needed a healing salve. This is why when you play in position five, you need to pretty much first five to seven minutes always have one healing salve ready just to use it on your carry. Especially in this aggressive lane that they got. Ursa on the top. Had more class queued up at first, now decided to swap things around a bit. And get, got a boost of speed. I don't think they can kill this Faceless Void. Doesn't feel like it at the moment, unless they really bring a lot up top. No. Tommy's just pretty much free to just farm up here. CK is one of the... Okay, A is just straight up dead. It's uh, too much minus armor, oh, a bit yeah. too much damage. He gets one step too close, means that uh, he's going to drop. We're seeing a little bit of a different build from the Snapfire 022. We were seeing like the 214 or the, you know, the 213. A couple different things here from Snapfires. And, you know, we'll see how much this oh, top lane ends up helping them as Eurus gets low and Innocence will get the kill onto Eurus. So why with that kill and taking out that Ursa? So much slow. Yeah. Two points in Enchant. And just one point in time dilation so that uh, Ursa can't really run away. Slow per cooldown. Gets, uh, you know. Only had one cooldown, does not have a point in Earthshock at the moment. But it they will need 20%. to swap things around. Like first rotation from possibly Magnus is the if the top lane's pushed out, Ursa could be in trouble. I guess he just wants to get oh, that Yang Morbid Mask and go to jungle. Faith Beyond now in a killing spree. And the CK is getting away with quite a bit. And the Radiant's fact that they've already gotten these, this many kills, and they brought Somnus over. They wanted to make a move, and well, without Yang, I, I truthfully don't think they can. 
Fate Beyond just bringing a bunch of mangoes. Three right now, maxing out the Chaos Bolt. Very interesting. I don't think uh, I've seen Chalice doing same. I know that he put the second point in Chaos Bolt and then decided to go for more points in Chaos Strike and Reality Rift. Yeah, maybe not going entirely into the Reality Rift because he's got the Snapfire, so the Minus Armor is already there. It's already there, and then they have enough damage. It's yeah. more about locking him down. In a place. Why? In trouble again. Body blocks from FY. Yours trying to get this kill out of the Enchantress. Here comes nothing to save. Fire Snap Cookie. It's out there, and they've got the RP, but the Telekinesis comes out. They'll still get the kill on the Yuris. It was a Fire Snap Cookie on the Dark Troll Summoner. And FY, well, he's left alone since, well, his bear has died. So they'll look over it. They'll get the kill on the FY. Spear. Cold Feet. Skewer. Still freezes over. Somnus comes in. Everybody's here for Elephant, which leaves so much space for LGD, and they only come away with the kill on the Magnus, even though they already lost Yuris and FY. Yuris is not really having a game. 26 CS compared to... 42 on CK, 40 on Faceless Void. Uh, he needs time to recover. He just needs to be able to get some levels, go in the triangle. They need to secure the triangle for him. Jin Q, gonna drop. Oh, yeah. They need Somnus to be very active. And you can see the itemization from him. He he is preparing for that. He understands my Urs is not having a good time. Spear back. Why survives, but for how long? Not long. Yeah. Talking about the atomization, Orb of Corrosion applies with the Slide of Fist, minus armor and the slow, plus a phase boots, just cheap, efficient damage items coming out early on from Somnus this time around. Interesting to see Faith Beyond not go to the armlet, but this time to the Midas. He might still swap it. I think it's, it's pretty greedy. very greedy. It's like 10 Top out of 10 greedy. greedy. <laughs> doesn't get, you know, it's <laughs> a hand of Midas, uh, boots of travel Radiant type of greedy in this meta. Especially when you have Magnus that could potentially empower you. Just not sure where they're going to get all that farm. Because both cores also want to take a farm. Does not dodge the chaos oh, four ball. Four seconds. They've got the reality rift. Telekinesis, fire stop cooking. They have the damage. Somnus remnants away just barely. A little bit of a save there from F5 with the telekinesis. They should know that this is worth it. The way they move behind the tower, they don't have a sentry. Oh, they thought it was a much deeper. There are still two more sentries by Red Panda, so I assume he's going to place another one down. Slide of his Searing Chains, Cold Feet, looking like it's going to proc over. Can they get the kill, though, on Asanas before it does? Yes, they can. Fire Snap Cookie lands onto Red Panda. He'll die, too. Now FY trying to make something happen as he's got some help from Yang. Does not catch him inside. No, the arena does not come through and hit him to Faith Beyond the Motor Moose Kisses out into FY, who is not even level 5 yet. He'll get Jake kissed Hughes to death. level 6. Man, there's so much damage coming in. Now on a Yang, they've thrown everything in the kitchen sink, and you come away with nothing. Wow, what a beautiful play from PSG LGD. Meanwhile, all that's happening. Magnus farming the triangle. Uh, Faceless Void having the free farm on the top. They're just setting themselves up for a really good game. And I talked about the importance of the D ward. They did not find that ward behind the tower. Like, they thought it was a much deeper in. This tier 1 tower on the bottom, dropping Low. Like Jin Q, he gets level 6 from those kills and then starts landing the kisses on FY. As you mentioned, Rubik, he was level 4 there. Buys the Dome of Knowledge now, is level 6, but uh, probably gonna die at the bottom. They need 1 2 extra hits. Jin Q a bit low on mana. But here comes nothing to say. Bleed. Blink dagger. This comes out, let's still get the kill on the Yuris. It was a Fire Snap cookie on the Dark Troll Summoner. And FY, well, he's left alone since, well, his bear has died. So they'll look over, they'll get the kill on the FY. Spear, Cold Feet, Skewer, still freezes over. Somnus comes in. Everybody's here for Elephant, which leaves so much space for LGD, and they only come away with the kill on the Magnus, even though they already lost Yuris and FY. Yuris is not really having a game. 26 CS compared to 42 on CK, 40 on Faceless Void. Uh, he needs time to recover. He just needs to be able to get some levels, go in the triangle. They need to secure the triangle for him. Jin Q, gonna drop. Oh, yeah. They need Somnus to be very active. And you can see the itemization from him. He he is preparing for that. He understands my Urs is not having a good time. 
Spear back. Y survives, but for how long? Not long. Yeah. Talking about the atomization, Orb of Corrosion applies with the Slide of Fist, minus armor and the slow, plus a phase boots, just cheap, efficient damage items coming out early on from Somnus this time around. Interesting to see Faith Beyond not go to the armlet, but this time to the Midas. He might still swap it. I think it's, it's pretty greedy. very greedy. It's like 10 Top out of 10 greedy. greedy. It doesn't get, you know, it's <laughs> a hand of Midas, uh, boots of travel Radiant type of greedy in this meta. Especially when you have Magnus that could potentially empower you. Just not sure where they're going to get all that farm. Because both cores also want to take a farm. Does not dodge the chaos oh, four ball. Four seconds. They've got the reality ray of Telekinesis. Firestaff cooking. They have the damage. Somnus remnants away just barely. A little bit of a save there from F5 with the telekinesis. They should know that this is worth it. The way they move behind the tower, they don't have a sentry. Oh, they thought it was a much deeper. There are still two more sentries by Red Panda, so I assume he's going to place another one down. Slight of his searing chains, cold feet, looking like it's going to proc over. Can they get the kill, though, on Asanas before it does? Yes, they can. Fire Snap Cookie lands onto Red Panda. He'll die, too. Now FY trying to make something happen as he's got some help from Yang. Does not catch him inside. No, the arena does not come through and hit on the face beyond the Motormoose Kisses out into FY, who's not even level 5 yet. He'll get Jake kissed Hughes to death. level 6. Man, there's so much damage coming in. Now on a Yang, they've thrown everything in the kitchen sink, and you come away with nothing. You're literally not moving. Meanwhile, all that's happening. Amit farming in the triangle with Empower. Enchantress healing him up. They might give uh, away this mid tower, but uh, they could also fight. Mortimer's Kiss is ready. Let's see what uh, Fate Beyond can do. He's trying to bait with the CK Illusions. Will they fall for it? RP and the Kisses could be dangerous. Uh, they know. They know this one is fake. Dyer's middle tower. I was thinking about it before, and you'll look at the CK getting that Midas. It's just like, Faith Beyond, you're being greedy. <laughs> and he's, he's getting away with he's that. He's getting more. away with the, yeah, he's getting away with the greed. Right now, Elephant has only one kill on board. We still have not seen RP. Oh, Yang in trouble. Impetus shots coming in from Y. He throws down an arena, but he's dead. On the side of the arena, Ice Blast comes through, hits on to Y percentages. Quick math. Quick math. He's, he's going to be okay. It's about He needed 20%. one, two more hits. Oh, trash hold is 12%. Uh, so Enchantress sitting at uh, 1,000. So that means uh, a bit higher than uh, 1,200. Yeah. So he needed 120. About. No. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> I, I, I had the math originally correct. I was like, yeah, he's got 20% of his life left. And then, well, the brain just went after that one. I could not figure out what 10 equaling 1% was. RP. Remnants away. Didn't see that one. Oh, gives them the ultimate line. We have seen that one a couple of times in the last few days. Safe lane Magnus not being able to land the multiple man RPs. Most of the time it was just for what you're pretty free to use the chrono when you've got the lockdown that OGD does. You still have RP up, so you have a big team fight spell that you can throw. It's not looking good. Eurus gets stunned. Two seconds stun, Phantasm, and that illusion is... Just securing the tower. Radiant's and they got away with green. They have this Magnus, who went for a Blink Dagger first item, now going into Echo Saber, so he's ready to take a fight. Oh, like, but, oh they see him, so... They should know something is up. Now they have Midas on a CK, and they will have two slash three cores farming with Empower in the jungle, so the advantage will keep rising. They need to do something on Elephant. They need to be able to try to take one more fight. One fight, because there is no Chronosphere right now. And this is exactly what they're doing. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Let's see what they can do. Nothing to say. So is RP. Coming around could be a little bit of a dangerous play, especially when you miss the spear. Side of Fist, Searing Chain, Somnus a little bit low. He needs to be careful. He's got all five heroes here. Scatter Blast, Donnie Yuris. He's trying to force this. He's got the Aegis, but he doesn't have Diffusal Blade. 
Enchantress uh, kind of ruins Ursa with her second ability. Dispelling overpower, extra slow, and then you're literally not moving. Meanwhile, all that's happening. Amit farming in the triangle with Empower. Enchantress healing. I just want to see... I don't know why, but FY just drop a chrono on Void. <laughs> I don't know why that... I just really want to see it. And then he gets out. Yeah, basically. So a bit of status resistance from Faceless Void. Keeps farming with Empower. Has a Solar Crest already done on Y. Going into SNY. Like his item build Dyer's should be SNY. Scotty, Satanic, and then they don't have enough burst damage. Unless they hit him with AA Blast, I don't think this hero can die. They don't have enough lockdown. Maybe lift, possibly stolen one of the big spells into Spear, but it's gonna be tough. Like this Faceless Void will take over the game. RP, pack off cooldown. It can only go up from the last one. Maybe you can also land a zero man RP again because I like what players are doing. You know, I fail once, can't get worse than this, can it only be equal or better? That's the thing. That's why the first RP, if you're playing Magnus in a pub, it's very important to miss it. Just hit zero on the first one because then your team's like, oh god, this guy. And then every RP after that one, so much better. You know what would be cool though? What would be cool? No, you could chrono your own teammates. What if you could RP your own teammates? A little bit of risk added to the RP. <laughs> Just, all right, I can't look. No, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking uh, trying to find something positive, but I cannot do it, B-Cup. I'm sorry. <laughs> RP this time it lands. Cookie. And they will get the kill. Uh, all right, that was chrono from F1. Right. Steals time walk and gets out. But now it's on cooldown because he has an upper hand with time dilation. Kisses. He's super slow. Oh, he's, yeah, dead. he's dead. Very, very dead. FY tried. But his chrono wasn't in time. Really wish he had the uh, Arcana. So I could have gotten the green chrono. Make this a little bit easier for myself. Two seconds stun. Man, Faith Beyond four levels ahead again. That might cost him his life. Stun again, and Yarina's down. Now the Chrono fit him, but he's on the other side of the wall. He, he gets a hit and then he gets back. bonged. <laughs> <laughs> and so they'll go after Yang. Searing Jane's on Ame. He's hoping to get a bash. Rolling them dice and hoping that Ice Frog is on his side. Shockwave pulling Yang back. Fire snap. Cookie landing on the Yang, and they'll end up getting a third. They will keep chasing this time dilation, but stolen Chrono Fit from Rubik. Good setup. For potentially corona. ace it. Gameplay right there. A lot of levels. Blink soon for the Rubik. That'll help him out a little bit. Hopefully give him what he needs to feel a little bit more effective. He's 0-4 and 4 at the moment. It's been really tough. We haven't We haven't really seen a good Rubik game in a long time. No. It's just straight up no for me. I try to give him a couple Radiance of opportunities to redeem himself. Attack. Not Dyer a player, but a hero. I'm, I'm still not convinced by this hero. Why did I actually decide to go with Rubik? Like, it might be flashy. Wow, you can steal the Chronosphere. Potentially RP. It's FY Rubik, so you know what he can do with the hero. It's just that hero right now feels a bit underwhelming. I'd give him 5 out of 10. Hmm. I think a little bit higher than what I would give him at the moment. Roche will respawn in a minute and 40 seconds. Radiant this time around, PSG LGD, they will be ready to fight. Because they got surprised by the first one. This one drops the shard. Who gets the shard? Maybe a horn toss for Magnus. Ooh. Maybe even Jin Q. If you want to go for full meme, Faceless Void gets it. Time dilation stolen. Not a bad one to have. Gotcha. Obviously, you'd love to have that RP. They're going to look over. They'll find Yang. Mortimer's kisses now. 
They've got him speared up to the edge of the arena. Ice Blast coming in. Telekinesis will hold him in the Ice Blast. They've got the Phantasm off. Still has half his health. Here is trying to move forward, but he's enchanted by Y. Remnant forward from Sam. His face beyond just hiding in the trees in plain sight. Now throws a stun over onto this Ember. They've got the spear once again, but the guys rebuke. They use the RP, and that gets stolen. So an opportunity for FY. You know it's coming. You know he's got it. And he's waiting for his moment to shine. RP this time it lands. Cookie. And they will get the kill. Uh, all right, that was Chrono from FY. Right. Steals time walk and gets out. But now it's on cooldown because he has an upper hand with time dilation. Kisses. He's super slow. Oh, he's, yeah, dead. he's dead. Very, very dead. FY tried. But his chrono wasn't in time. Really wish he had the uh, Arcana. So I could have gotten the green chrono. Make this a little bit easier for myself. Two seconds stun. Man, Faith Beyond. Four levels ahead of Yang. That's an illusion, and that might cost him his life. Stun again in just a second. But yeah, they caught him. Faith Beyond with another kill on a Yang. Yang not really having a great game on this Mars. It's very easy to play when you're four levels ahead above enemy off laner, and uh, he pretty much gets the solo kill, uses that Hand of Midas, now five levels ahead. Five-headed levels. Gameplay right there. Auto levels. Blink soon for the Rubik. That'll help him out a little bit. Hopefully give him what he needs to feel a little bit more effective. He's 0-4 and 4 at the moment. It's been really tough. We haven't... We haven't really seen a good Rubik game in a long time. No. It's just straight up no for me. I try to give him a couple Radiance of opportunities to redeem himself. Attack. Not Dyer's a player, but a hero. I'm, I'm still not convinced by this hero. Why did I actually decide to go with Rubik? Like, it might be flashy. Wow, you can steal the Chronosphere. Potentially RP. It's FY Rubik, so you know what he can do with the hero. It's just that the hero right now feels a bit underwhelming. I'd give him 5 out of 10. Hmm. I think a little bit higher than what I would give him at the moment. Roche will respawn in a minute and 40 seconds. Radiant this time around, PSG LGD, they will be ready to fight. Because they got surprised by the first one. This one drops the shard. Who gets Dyer's the shard? Maybe a horn toss for Magnus. Ooh. Maybe even Jin Q. If you want to go for full meme, Faceless Void gets it. Time dilation stolen. Not a bad one to have. Gotcha. Obviously, you'd love to have that RP. They're gonna look over, they'll find Yang Hornimer's kisses now. They've got him speared up to the edge of the arena. Ice Blast coming in, Telekinesis will hold him in the Ice Blast. They've got the Phantasm off. Still has half his health. Here is trying to move forward, but he's enchanted by Y. Remnant forward from Sam, his face beyond, just hiding in the trees in plain sight. Now throws a stun over onto he goes this Ember. They've got the spear once again, but the guys rebuke. They use the RP, and that gets stolen. So an opportunity for FY. You know it's coming. You know he's got it. And he'll get the RP off. FY waiting for his moment to shine, and still it falls a little it's bit short. It's still not enough. They still have a Chronosphere ready. He gets the time dilation. That actually hits on Ember Spirit, so they do not want to chase. Great play there from FY Rubik. It's just that their damage output is a bit limited. They already used the AA Blast. If they can maybe save that Blast, it's very hard. You want to use that a bit earlier uh, to potentially kill off one hero. Still, they're going to have RP ready for in the next minute and 30 seconds. So it's uh, going to be okay-ish. Meanwhile, inside the pit, Roche just spawned the LGD. Ame needs to get out. He was thinking about getting a BKB. I don't think it's necessary this time around to get a BKB. I've already mentioned Scotty Satanic. He decides to get the Satanic first. I don't mind that. It's just about tankiness. I feel like he can be bursted, but if he plays around the team, if there's an RP, oh, if there's whoa, nothing to say. 
flanking aggressively, has the BKB, they've got the arena down on the back sides of this fight. They hit the spear that lands on the Jin Q. The damage though being done to Yang, he needs to try and evacuate the Coliseum, but he won't get out. So his ticket's been punched, and they'll get the kill on Yuris as well. Nothing to say, blinking in and pops the BKB. You can see FY not as willing to fight here because you know he wants to hold the RP, but now he just switches for the Chaos Bolt. He sat back the entire time, maybe looking to hold RP if he could, but now feels like just steals the Chaos Bolt and they end up losing Aegis Cheese Shard. Who gets the Shard? Faceless Void actually has it. So a bit of a meme, reverse time walk. And this is why Nothing to Say has, what did you say, 79% win rate? 83. 83. Okay, that's pretty Dyer's impressive. 29 games, 83%. This is game number 30. I think a win here puts him at 85, I would assume. I'll just trust you. Now going into oh, AC, BKB done, level 19. How do you kill Ahmed? They did not manage to bring him down, not even once. He's just had a free game. About 16,000 net worth for Ame. Yuris, 5k behind. Just has not been getting enough gold. The whole team is just so far behind all these cores. I got away with the greed. Midas ended up working out for Faith Beyond. He's got the Blink BKB. You've got Magnus, who obviously has him power to farm with, but he's got just as much net worth as Void, 15,400. Three cores from LGD on top of the net worth, Ursa, just a thousand below. The third most farm hero, CK, then we have Ember Spirit, Mars really struggling, like Yang not having a game. Just Snapfire, fire. Lifesteal amplification. Like, I don't know why this item gives so many things. Damage. Too many things. PKB next for the void. Boundary is picked up. Alright. 24 kills, 24 thousand gold lead. Yeah, that obviously means that every kill is worth 1,000 gold. Yeah. You know, that math doesn't really check out because that's not their total gold. You tried. I did. <laughs> Bad attempt. Smoking up again. Let's see. Let's see what they can get with this. Both cores have M power now. Rubik stole it. So it's going to be some extra damage if they can potentially have empower steal the rp then keep hitting people yes. with empower and maybe that's yeah maybe that's the turning point why in a great spot to break the smoke and that's when they'll jump away but ice blast coming in that means it's going to be used for this fight nothing to say gets the skewer back time dilation coming in mortimer's kisses inside the arena in a three second stun you'll go to the kisses elsewhere hitting on yuris reality ripped in rage pop bkb gets popped by faith beyond and ame I don't think he He's needed got the chrono. to use the BKB there, but let's see if he decides there to chrono. Is. There it is. Stolen yeah, chrono. chrono. Stolen. FY walks into the chrono and makes his own chrono, which, which Ame can affect. walk through. RP comes in, and then the buyback gets used by both this Rubik as well as Yuris. BKB pop by nothing to say. Yuris, he just popped back. He's dead before that gold symbol goes away, and GG is called in what becomes a reverse sweep from LGD and probably their biggest win of the season. PSG LGD, they are really showing off today. Really good performance. Like the draft was really greedy. I think everyone can agree on that oh, one. Yeah. It's just that they they got outplayed. Like this CK on the bottom lane, plus a snap fire, ton of, ton of minus armor. They decided to put Faithless Void on the off lane, yeah. try to not get stomped by you know, they wanted to secure more Ursus farm and sacrifice Yang's Mars. In the end, it didn't really matter because he was not getting too much out from the top lane as well. Yeah, how greedy they were. I honestly can't believe that they got away with it, like, a lot. <laughs> like, it wasn't like Hand a close Midas game. First yeah, item Midas after picking three CK, greedy cores. And then you have uh, two cores that benefit from the Empower.